is a quick update then of the garden I've not filmed for a couple of months now and now the 7th of July the last video was in May so apologies for the delay been busy with some other things and some problems with with cameras and technical equipment but hopefully we're back now so that's the wisteria just give you an update here is a hanging basket with the petunias that you'll remember from earlier episodes that grew from seed and in the top begonias in here hanging baskets on the wall you've got some snapdragons calendula and laventina another hanging basket same again petunias and begonias same in there calendula snapdragons and laventina look at the perennial sweet pea second year looking lovely let me just close in on a flower look how nice that is lovely it's gone really bushy that's up to the top of the garage now as you can see and a third hanging basket same again begonias and petunias in the border here you've got alliums you've got geraniums snapdragons in between the tall feathers surrounded by dahlias and lastly just there is fuchsia all doing reasonably well I've had a problem with slugs though and snails so I am using some slug pellets which you might be able to see I know that's not everyone's cup of tea but works for me just quickly show you a couple of pots of new plants here we've got two pots of climbing fuchsias Thompson and Morgan five plants I've got two in each pot let's turn around a bit so you can see it lovely flowers I'm not sure whether to build a cage with canes or I'm fancying putting a um, an archway on the lawn or at the side of the lawn and the patio and then putting a having um, to climb up the side of it apparently can grow about five foot in a season so we'll see how that progresses just have a wander down the down the garden so onto the allotment so here we are just so you can see some some of my homemade garden markers so you've got carrots and if I just move up here potatoes and if we just look across at the back over there that's the back of a garden marker so if I can just get closer to that for you on the back it's painted with blackboard paint so with a chalk marker you can just write the variety and the date you planted it so wipe it off for next year so there you go firestorm runner beans planted on the 6th of June doing all right I'm really behind this year I don't know if anyone else is uh, is behind this year the weather's not been great here we've got carrots just starting to show you've got jazzy potatoes two rows of those here we've got sunflower giraffe variety along with a giraffe variety over there last year we managed 14 foot let's see what happens this year you might remember from earlier episodes these are silver birch trees grown from seed last year sown in March last year in bigger pots now looking amazing really uh, just the four I tried to grow some again this year you'll see from earlier videos I had success with one out of a good 20 or 30 seeds not particularly good and here two rows of peas again I'm using some older seeds these are um, what variety are they? Let's have a look. Um, Rondo. Again, sowed on the 6th of June. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I've got 8. And I've planted about 20. Um, again, I don't know if anyone else is having any problems this year, but um, 
I don't know if it's because the seeds are a couple of years old, but not working. We'll see what happens. Let's have a quick look over here. Here's the grapevine I might have showed earlier, doing really well. Um, going crazy, going right across here now. And here's the uh, blackberry. Um, started off as a little bush, planted last year. Got flowers on. You see the flowers there. Sorry if it's a bit blurry, uh, but yeah, flowers, perfect and sent out these extra stalks that are just going crazy. Again, if anyone can give me any advice, do I, do I trim them back or do I let them grow? That's, that's, any advice would be useful. Uh, again, it's done the same on this side. So, going up and up, right across this other fence panel. Um, again, give me some advice if anyone's grown blackberries before. Um, do I trim them back or not? Lavender at the side of the greenhouse, raspberries just here. Um, hopefully, you can see plenty of raspberries on. Um, so, we'll see how they go. Let's have a look in the greenhouse. Apologies for the, uh, for the mess. So, yeah, so tomatoes um, doing really well. Um, coming up a treat, I've got, I've got tomatoes on. These are the uh, sweet aperitif variety. It's just getting on a tomato there, uh, you see, plenty of those. And again, be interested to get people's thoughts that view it. I'm not sure, I've got this, this die back here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't think it's blight, but I've got it on a couple of the plants, not all of them, but on a couple of plants. Um, again, if anyone's got something similar, then then leave some comments below, might be able to help me out. Over here, cucumbers, um, doing great. Um, you'll see a cucumber just there, and a bigger one if I just move this leaf. There you go, a huge cucumber, keeping those hydrated with plenty of water. And then on the floor, which you might have seen earlier, basil, mint, these are all the seeds I grew earlier, some cosmos. That I put in for my father-in-law. Here we've got sweet peppers. Apologies for my shoe. Um, I know that one of the subscribers, um, Petals on Paving, Paving I think. Uh, thank you for subscribing. But um, there's the uh, carnivorous plant, the pitcher plant. Look at that. That's uh, And it's got a flower on. <laughs> but I'm looking at repotting that. So again, any advice if anyone's got a pitcher plant and wants it, how to repot them, then leave a comment, please. And from an earlier video, you might remember the cuttings I took for lavender. Um, I must admit, without success. Um, out of all the cuttings that I took, that you saw me put in a pot, um, here's, the, uh, here's the results. Um, just one, I'm afraid. So, uh, yeah. Not really successful there, but um, it's taken, I think. We'll see how it progresses. I've taken some more since, which you can see here. So, two lavenders there, and I've got a fuchsia cut in that I've taken to try and increase stocks. Talking of cuttings, um, you buy plants from anything like me, you can buy carnations and pinks from Asda, cut flowers, £2 a bunch, I think relatively cheap. They always have the side shoots. Um, here's some cuttings that I, I just happened to put in uh, and they are uh, about to flower. So they need to go out but doing really well. Let's have a look at the bottom border just to finish off. Rhubarb. Look at that. Um, that is, that's crazy. Um, I need to pick that. So again, anyone got any ideas for uh, recipes for rhubarb then, then let me know. Um, more lavender. The Primrose, Primulus, doing great. Um, flower at the beginning of the season and die back. And I've just put in some dahlias. Just starting to, uh, just starting to poke through. So, uh, tubers grown from seed last year, and then, and then just, uh, as you'll see there, it's just uh, starting to come through. But again, problems with snails and slugs. I don't know if it's because it's been really damp. I did hear that every garden can apparently have up to 20,000 slugs or snails in a garden at any one time. Um, that's quite shocking, especially the damage that they can do. And stand at this side, but here you go, that's the 
fuchsia that I cut back and I've managed to paint the fence. So stain that. I'm not finished the whole job off. Um, but yeah, grass is looking nice. Garden looking nice, the side border full of flower. Looking well. Some more snapdragons there. So we'll keep you updated with how we're how we progress. So bye for now. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And please feel free to leave your comments and feedback below. I'd love to hear from you. So don't be shy, and of course I'll reply. See you soon.